I remember heading into this game, the question was being asked to different people who this game was more important for. Was it more important for the Bills or more important for the Chiefs? And I said, in the short term, the right here, right now, it's more important for the Chiefs. But in the long term, it's more important for the Bills. Reason I say that is because in the short term, the Chiefs, they've been clearly been off. They lost to the Ravens. They lost to the Chargers. They they can't take no loss to the Bills, too. Especially at the, at the crib, Sunday night football. And things been looking shaky over there in Kansas City. That's why I felt like in the short term, the Chiefs needed this a lot more than the Bills. But for the Bills, I felt like in the long term, it would be better for them because this would give them that confidence booster. Like, hey, we could beat these Chiefs? Oh, yeah, we could rock with anybody now. Especially based off of last year in the playoffs. Now, YouTube, team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And I'm going to be straight up with y'all. It's about three minutes left in the game right now. So we came in here a little bit early. And I, I waited this thing out until it was just, it got to the point where it was like, all right, yeah, okay, they ain't coming back. Because going into halftime, I believe the score was 24-13. And I was like, okay, yeah, we know the Chiefs. They've come back from bigger deficits than this. Even though they were looking shaky in the first half, we know they can overcome this and come back. And then the Bills, they scored again after that, uh, after that super long delay. And both teams came out. Of that delay a little bit slow which was completely understandable but after they got that pick six i was th still even thinking oh yeah the, the chiefs they can come back they can still come back we know how they get down but after getting to this point in the game and, and i just watched that snap that patrick mahomes just dropped and because the center snapped it perfectly creed humphrey snapped it perfectly mahomes just dropped it yeah this thing's done so Whew, this game, this game was something. First, let's let's start off with the Bills. The Bills, I love how they they got a they got a big lead. They didn't play scared. They were taking them shots downfield. And in the first half, Josh Allen was literally perfect. With the deep throws, he was literally perfect. I think he was like four for four for like two touchdowns. Should have had another touchdown early on. Uh, but Stephon Diggs decided, oh, you know what? I'm, I'm going to start stunting on these Chiefs. I'm going to start showing out on these Chiefs. And he started, like, backpedaling a little bit, taunting a little bit, uh, and then he got tackled. Uh, and maybe he thought that, the, I think it was Sorensen who was back there, maybe he thought that he wasn't that close. I don't know what that, but he started dancing way too early, ended up costing him a touchdown. But it's okay, because it obviously didn't impact the game too bad. Um, but... Josh Allen issue, they were taking them shots. They were taking them shots. Uh, and the Chiefs, they just, they couldn't do anything about it. Knox, the tight end, Dawson Knox, he was out there killing it. Um, Stephon, everybody. Uh, Emmanuel Sanders with that, that, that beautiful deep throw and beautiful touchdown catch. But it, it, it was just pretty, man. It was pretty to see. Josh Allen, he, in this game, he just looked super comfortable and super confident in his arm. Because we've seen games where his, his arm, the confidence isn't there. Like, even if you go back to week one, the Bills and Steelers game. In that game, he was very, very shaky. And he was going up against a good defense, but he was very, very shaky, man. Super shaky. And it, that's how the game was. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down for Josh Allen. But this game, way more ups than downs. And it wasn't even close. Um, the Bills, they, they score, and this is what you got to do with the Chiefs. On offense, you got to put up points. You got to put up points. Because if you don't put up points, like a lot of points. Like I know you can say, oh, well, you can say that about any team. You could, but against the Chiefs, you got to put up big points. Because if, you if, you, if you're not scoring at least like 35, don't even bother showing up. That's how it is, man. Because you know these Chiefs, they, they, they are going to put up some points too. But the Bills, they, they, they kept their foot on the gas. They didn't take it off. And when I was worried about them possibly taking their foot off the gas, again, especially after that delay. And you heard all the complaints about the peanut butter and jelly sandwiches that they had way too much peanut butter and all that. But that's when I thought, I was like, ooh, this delay is really bad for the Bills because the Bills are hot. They were hot. And that delay came, and then the delay got extended and extended and extended. I was like, oh, yeah, this is bad for the Bills. Not good at all. 
Then they came out in the second half and they got the ball back. And again, they, they look slow. They look slow. And I was like, oof. Uh oh. But then the Chiefs will get pick six. Hey, that'll wake you up. That'll give you that nice boost. And then uh, Gregory Rosa, he, he ended up catching a pick on Patrick Mahomes a little bit later on. And you know what? Let's flip it to the defense now because the Bills, I think, well, actually, back to the offense real quick. The Bills, they, they watched that Ravens and Chiefs game and they were like, okay, yeah, okay. What the, okay, oh, oh, Lamar did that. Oh, okay. Okay, Bash. Okay, okay, cool. Oh, oh, that's how you play the Chiefs. That's how you play defense on them. Oh, yeah. Okay, got it. They watched that Ravens game and they took plenty of no. They watched a combination of the Ravens game against the Chiefs and the Chargers game against the Chiefs. And they took everything from that. And they said, you know what? These Ravens, they beat the Chiefs, but they had a very stressful game. These Chargers. They beat the Chiefs, but they had a very stressful game. Let's take all the great things that both of these teams did against these Chiefs and let's implement them so we don't have to deal with as much stress as those guys did. Those games came down to the very end. We don't feel like going through that. We don't feel like having a headache and going through all the drama and whatnot. Mm -mm. So what do they do on defense? They rush four. They rushed four so many times throughout the night. And, but they also had a good rotation. They know the Chiefs, you know Chiefs love throwing that ball. They don't get their runs in here and there, but the Chiefs love throwing that ball. So they had a good rotation on the defensive line. They even showed it with the snap count. But they rushed four. They didn't blitz Patrick Mahomes too much. When you blitz him, yeah, he's going to burn you. But Patrick Mahomes looked scared all night long. He was not comfortable all night long. The entire game from start to finish. And that's the thing. With Patrick Mahomes... It's like if you could do something for a half, then you feel accomplished. But at the same time, you're a little bit worried because you're like, man, that worked in the first half. What if they make adjustments? What if they change up what they're doing and then they, and it ends up working? What happens? It worked all four quarters. They, they had him looking scared. He, he was moving around. Patrick Mahomes was pressing. He was pressing. Now with Tyreek Hill, when he dropped him football, that, that didn't help none. It didn't help at all. But Mahomes was pressing. He had a lot of balls that fell right at the defender's feet. I mean, right at the uh, wide receiver's feet, excuse me. A lot, of, a lot of passes that they were just coming up short. But why? Because he was getting pressured all night. So many times you saw Patrick Mahomes, and it, it, it is kind of... Patrick Mahomes is nice. One of the best quarterbacks in the league. We already know that. But it, it is very cringy when, when Patrick Mahomes, when he runs... And he tried to like, ugh, like shake somebody. It's like, ugh, don't do that, Patrick Mahomes. We, we, that's not you, man. But that's that's how you know. Like when you see that throughout the night, it's a pattern. It's like, oh no, this 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 not a good thing. It's not a good thing because there were so many times where he he had to take off. He had to run around. He tried to make somebody miss, make some defenders miss, and it wasn't a good night for him. Not at all. Um, but kudos to the Bills defense because they made that happen. What they did, which and it's what you got to do because you know that the Chiefs are always looking for the big play. Always. The Bills were like, all right, that little short underneath stuff, you can have that. That's all yours. Take it. We ain't worried about that. But the deep stuff, no. Nah, not today. Those big plays that y'all used to get, nope. Not happening today. And even like you saw it literally from the first drive. The first drive went for like... Man, what was it, like 17, 18 plays? But that the first drive set it off for the Bills. That was a win for the Bills because these Chiefs, they had the ball literally forever. They ran so many plays on that first drive, but when the Bills held them to three, I was like, oh, they, yeah, that's a win for them. That's a win because that's a huge confidence booster. That's a huge in-game confidence booster. When you, a, a team like Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs offense, you know about all them boys, man. Obviously, Mahomes, Clyde edwards Elia, even though he left the game, but that was before he left. And Tyreek Hill, Travis Kels, Pringle, Robinson, McCole, when he's out there on the field. But you, you know that they have guys that can make plays. And when, with, with that team, over 15 plays on a drive, and they come away with a, with a field goal, like they did all that work and they kicking three at the end, oh, that's a win for your defense all day. All day. So, Bills, they, they took that that confidence that they got from that and throughout the entire game. It showed up and, and it showed out. Shout out to anybody that stayed up for this game. 
Uh, because based off, and, and I said this before I even knew anything about a delay. Based off of all the, the flags alone, I was, I said, I text, I mean, I tweeted that this game was going to go to like at least 1 a.m. in the morning Eastern time. Because the, the way that they were throwing them flags, it was like, man, come on. That was the real delay. It wasn't even the lightning. It was the flags. And they, the refs were consistent with the flags. Not a good consistent, but they were consistent with the flags from beginning to the end. They did not stop. They continued to throw flag after flag after flag. Of course, they had some makeup calls in there. They had some terrible calls. It was just a little bit of everything. But bad night from the refs. I mean, we say that a lot. Uh, it's an unfortunate part of football, but it is what it is. Um, I think the worst part from the refs came back-to-back -back plays. Josh Allen, it was a big play for the Bills where they were really trying to put the Chiefs away. Josh Allen scrambled, got a first down. So then they called holding on number 60, I think. The guy who used to play for the Chiefs, they called holding on him. Wasn't a holding at all. Wasn't even close. So then that backed up the Bills. After they had just got a first down, and again, this is the second half. They're trying to put these Chiefs away, and the refs took it away from them. So that backed them up. It became like third and 17 at that point, I believe. So then that, the very next play, Josh Allen dropped. And I, I thank you, Bills. I really appreciated this because they still threw the ball. They still did a throw and play. Because I was thinking, oh, okay, um, that backed them up, and they on their own like 10-yard line, something like that. All right, they about to just do a draw play. That's it, and then hope to play some good defense. But no, they came out passing that ball, and Josh Allen threw that thing downfield. It was an interception, but they were like, hold up. We just got a terrible call on these bills. Let's make up for it. They called roughing the passer on Frank Clark, I think, and that was a, just a terrible call, terrible call. But it was a makeup call for what they had just taken away from the bills just a play before. They had to give it right back to them. Um, and we saw stuff throughout the night where it was just bad. Uh, Honey Badger, you know that he is um, extremely upset with Sorensen, man. Number 32 for the Chiefs, Tyra Matthew. He is extremely upset with number 49 for the Chiefs. Cause it's, and it happened in the Ravens game, too, on a Hollywood touchdown. Where Sorensen was supposed to be back there, and he wasn't. And Honey Badger just sitting there looking up with his arms out, frustrated. Like, what are you doing? Um, Chiefs defense, that they have been suspect all year. I mean, they've been suspect for a while. Chiefs defense, they have never been, or at least recently, they haven't been this lockdown defense. But they've been an opportunistic defense. And their defense was made to look better. And not that this is a bad thing. But their defense has had looked better because their offense was just so great. And their offense would put up all these crazy amount of points. So then that forces the opposing team's offense. That puts a lot of pressure on them, and they, they usually play and catch up a lot. But now when a team puts up a lot of points on that Chiefs defense, and they're making you, the Chiefs, play catch up, ooh, the tables have turned, my friends. They turn. So now the Chiefs, very unfamiliar territory. Again, still early in the season. And their next three games, I know they got the Titans – and they got the other two more opponents that where they they could if they could make it out at least two and one, that would be good for them. Um, I think they'll make it out three and over the next three. But hey, we'll see, because it's any given Sundays. The Bills, they're strong, man. They're a strong team. And again, this game gives them that much more confidence now. Because the Kansas City Chiefs have been the AFC powerhouse for years now. For the last couple of years, they've been those dudes. But now the Bills just went into Kansas City and beat up on them Chiefs. They beat up on them. They didn't just squeak by with a win. No, they beat up on the Chiefs. Got a decisive win. That, that does a lot for your football team. Team, keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. And we out.